Come in. Hello, and we're out of YouTube. It's your buddy, once again, B2J135, coming back with another Pokemon X and Y Hawaii Fly Battle. Got another um, battle with um, one of my boys from the stream. I did, uh, what was it now, two days ago? Last uh, Thursday? Yeah, last Thursday. Well, this was actually about, let's see, today is Sunday. This is probably going to get uploaded tomorrow or Tuesday because I'm going to have like them in the schedule so that, you know, I can place everything out. It's probably going to be uploaded Tuesday. It might get uploaded today, but we'll see. No, it's going to be Monday. It's going to be Monday. But anyway, we got a battle here. It's a monotype battle with my boy Epos or Epos, I guess. I'm not sure. How do you say your name? But uh, yeah, he's going with mono water and I'm going with mono steel. He literally was like, hey, let's play a mono. But I was like, okay, that sounds good. You know, I'm getting tired of OU again. I mean, I was getting tired of like, you know, just the same old, same old. So I, I kind of like to switch things up. Mono type, mono color, mono gym. In sky battles. I wish inverse is a thing. Hopefully they'll make that um, in Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire a, 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 a mode that you can actually play. Same with uh, sky battles. That'd be amazing. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. You saw the team previews Mono Water versus Mono Steel. And this is actually kind of in his favor because Water resists Steel outright. And it's just like, oh god. Because when I saw Water, I was like, shit. He said, oh shit, on the comments. I'm like, why are you saying, oh shit? You have the better Tyke advantage here. I mean, sure, I have the Magnezone, but we'll see what happens. But um, he's going to start off with his Politoe. Nice and shiny Politoe. Going for the uh, Drizzle, of course, is his ability. And uh, I'm just going to start with Stealth Frost. This is actually the classic lead Gen 4 uh, Empoleon with Stealth Frost, Aqua Jet, um, Ice Beam, I think it is, and Hydro Pump. But because I was like, ah, it's a lead. Fuck Hydro Pump. I'm going to use Hydro Cannon <laughs> because it's a lead. Why, why, why would I go for Hydro Pump when it has a chance to miss? If this thing has Focus Edge. It's going to die anyway. So why as well go out, go ham with all the power. Shit, I don't care. I mean, come on. Torrent Hydro Cannon is destroying anything. Guaranteed. And it's going to hit. Guaranteed. So it's like, you know, psh, why not? Sure, it's a Hyper Beam because I haven't turned to charge here. I recharge here. And he's going to go for the Skull. But if I had had Grass Knot... I think I would have had a much better chance to take out this Politoe, but being this is mono water and I mean mono steel, uh, mono battle, I didn't, you know, I didn't think about it because I was just kept the set the same. Thought it was gonna work. Uh, most people actually go for like mono water. I don't know what I was thinking, but I should. I was just like, fuck it. I'm gonna pick a type I never use. But yeah, it's gonna. Uh, he's gonna scald. The burn's gonna take me out. I'm gonna bring in my um, Metagross here, and I was not sure because this is actually the uh, agility, like old, like once before, the old classic agility uh, Metagross set. But it did enough damage plus the life orb to take out with the Zen head, but take out that Polito, which I'm guessing may be more of a offensive Polito, but I could be wrong. So he actually makes a really bad play and accidentally brings in his tentacle and stays in. I'm not sure why he did that. Because that just was... He could have saved that for later. And I think that was a really big play. He said he wasn't thinking. I don't know. I don't know. I made a mistake in the other battle. Remember with the chestnut? You'll, you'll see a link in the description. Anyway, so I can understand shit happens. But he's going to bring in his... Um, Marsh top uh, swamp hurt now and uh, make a play go for the earthquake I'm definitely not gonna stay in because of course I don't have the air, air balloon and the only thing that does have an air balloon on my team I don't it's also weak to water it's uh, extra drill so I was like you know what let me not do that let me just go ahead and bring in this Klefki set up the spikes you know because I'm gonna die Klefki is gonna die anyway it doesn't matter Klefki's uh, this actually is the bold Klefki I think but I was like you know what screw it I'm just gonna go for the um the, sp the spikes. I mean, I could have gone for foul play, but I'm pretty sure Ma uh, Malamara. Oh, God damn it. Uh, Swamper was going to outspeed me there. But I'm going to go ahead and play a tricky play. Now, I'm going to bring in my Bayonetta, my Mawile, which is Intimidate, and switch out into Exodrill, predicting his Earthquake. Now, I knew he was going to go for Earthquake. Why not go for Earthquake? It's a freaking Mawile that's going to Mega Evolve, potentially. I got to get rid of it, so let's go for Earthquake. Wrong! He goes for Roar, and I'm like, come on. Oh, and you messed up my play and now I can't keep doing it because now he knows it has air balloon he's not gonna stand doing that so I'm like let me just see how much this uh, this uh, uh, Zen head but's gonna do to this uh, swamper it does a clean 40% I'd say about 40% just not enough though to like you know because that's swamper versus Metagross that's in swampers favor because you see right there he has the earthquake so I'm just like you know what 
I'm just gonna keep it in. Screw it. I'm just gonna keep going for the Zen Hub. Maybe I can get. Oh, I got a crit. I was actually hoping for the flinch, but instead of getting the crit, I'm totally cool with that. Cause now he's at killable range, which means I can bring in my uh, my Mawile, go for the sucker punch, or I'll predict him and go for the Iron Head. Cause at this point he's gonna be at negative uh, negative two from the. Um, uh, intimidate here so that's exactly what I do because I don't want him to go for roar because he might go for roar and just screw me over again so I'm just not gonna go for the sucker punch I was thirsty I was gonna do sucker punch but nah let me just go safely go for the iron head because play rough has a chance of missing and sucker punch he might go for roar or stealth rock in which he does here so it was very good I think he actually predicted me to go for the sucker punch too that's why he did stealth rock but I'm like nah screw that I'm just gonna go for the iron head make sure I take out this big bad threat and it's finally gone so up next he's gonna bring in on this mobile here the uh Alamo oh, God damn it. I'm so bad today i'm glad he doesn't have that on his team either the milo tick anti-dragon i mean an ain't drag i made the mistake again because I, when i saw this in the first battle i was like ain't dragon of course it's not a dragon but it's supposed to be anti no no i mean it's supposed to be god i said it right when i meant to say i was okay listen I read it as anti-dragon. It actually says ain't dragon because it ain't dragon type. Maybe it'll get a, a Mega Evolution Oros. Maybe because Mega Sable is a thing. Mega Dynasty. Mega Sceptile Swamper. Maybe Milotic will get a Mega Evolution. Mega Evolve into Water Dragon or Water Fairy. I hope to God that Water Fairy happens. That'd just be so freaking raw. I mean, we already kind of have a defensive Water Fairy in Azumarill, but Azumarill's uh, attack base. Water Fairy, Milotic would be amazing. So, oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh my god, with competitive? Ooh, oh, just the thoughts. <laughs> but anyway, I pretty much have the chance to go ahead and go ham and sweep now. Because now that um his only water ground type is gone, I'm free to bring in my Magnezone, go for the well buff, the nice and powerful Thunderbolts, and start wreaking havoc. That's pretty much what I do here. Because I'm like, why well, stay here with him a while and have to, you know, because I actually don't have Swords Dance on this one, and just go for like play rubs all day and maybe have a chance of getting scalded when I can just go into Magnezone and just wreak havoc so that's exactly what I did and then I forgot which actually wasn't bad because the battle's pretty much over I had choice scarf so I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing I don't know I, I forget where I've got I made this uh, ma uh, Magnezone a long time ago but this is pretty much a standard Magnezone but I can't remember what the item was it looked like it could work with assault vest choice scarf or choice specs and I was like, you know what, it's modest, I'm just going to use Choice Scarf, and that's going to be the battle, because, of course, uh, Ludicolo's not going to be able to take uh, another hit from the uh, Thunderbolt there. And that's going to be it. So, yeah, thanks so much, guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. A uh, good game, E-Post, dude. We got to do it again, man. Um, another mono gen, uh, well, mono type, I should say. But, yeah, definitely. When you, As long as you have, <laughs> if you're going up against the water versus steel, make sure you bring your Magnus on, because otherwise, you're going to be SOL. <laughs> All right, nothing much else to say. Like I said, Kirby up, uh, upload is going to be coming up this week soon. I'm going to try and... Uh, get through it as fast as I can because we're fast approaching the release of uh what's coming out I don't even ah I thought there was I don't know what I, I just said ugh, I don't know what new game's coming out for the 3DS I'm, oh Sonic Boom's coming out that's the one I was thinking of so we're fast approaching the release of that and of course Smash so I want to get this done as fast as I can and uh not much else for me to say yeah make sure to like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos let's play as Wi-Fi battles weeks of and all that good jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video. B2J135 signing out. Deuces.